Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ's CAT class. Uh, this, in this video, we'll like to finish up uh, what we have left for the diamond model. And uh, we already finished last um, time for the top part. And today we're going to finish the bottom part. So let's take a look on what are uh, two parts for the bottom. I'm going to turn into the ghost view. And you can see... Uh, right here there are two main parts for the bottom which you have the lower half facet and in fact it is actually go if you go trace this faces to the top it is divided by eight section as well the other one is pavilion main facet and again, everything go by eight, right? So we are going to uh, follow this rule. Let's get started. This is what we have left from last video for the top part. Um, I'm going to turn on a finish one and to talk about the next step. If you look at the top view, you're going to see already put here for there are eight point here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. All right, and what they are from the left view is actually where those face facets meet, right there. And we are going to draw a polygon from the top view as a guideline. So I'm going to draw octagons snapping into the zero, and just kind of eyeball it to um, for about close to that point. Okay, and then I want to bring this point down. Oh, sorry, I need to go back to this view so you you understand more. Oh, where is that? Okay, <clears throat> and then I want to bring this down to approximately where they are going to be. All right, so you're going to see this uh, octagon over there. And next, what we need to do is simply just link the you know those uh, curve together, straight line together. Before we do that, we also need to create a thickness for the girdle. So I'm going to pick up the curve that I have. And I'm just going to simply bring down my gumball and hit the all key to make a copy. And next, you just need to link. I want to link the line from this is align to the endpoint and click on this endpoint and snapping into one of the corner for the octagon same thing here same thing here and I go into the link to the this one there so you got a big triangle there uh, next one we're gonna link this one to the next corner and the same thing, this one going down. And to link to the second point. I kind of fast forward um, and change the color a little bit so you, you will see. Uh, the reason I fast forward is they are the same thing. You only need to do one part. Uh, and then we will doing the polar array but I just want to show you the structure I think it's easier for you to understand this way okay so we have O8 now with the big triangle right there uh, constructing by this line and and this line we need to have eight section there so I'm just gonna go ahead to eight at um, eight section like this and I'm just gonna continue and to finish O A of M. Okay, so this is the curved line we have, and uh, I kind of turn it into a red color so you can see. So next step is exactly the same like last step, which use a surface from two, three, four edges. All right, so I pick up the edges, and that will creating the surface. And one more time. Now we finish the A surface. I kind of fast forward a little bit. Um, so you see all those A faces right there. 
Now we need to do the final one is the pavilion man face faces. Um, we need to find out where the culet is going to be. And the best way that I find is to put a dot, a point, right at the center. Okay. And then we want to move that point down to be our culet point. But we need to know exactly where it is because uh, we want to have our faces really straight. You can try become lower or higher. You're going to notice these faces may not be completely straight. So to find out to be completely straight, this is what I do. I go to the front view, okay, and I'm going to extend this curve out and past the center and then so I can bring my point back to snap into the center so that will be where the culet is going to be. So I'm going to draw a curve as snap to the end point. All right. Before I move it, how do I know what angle I, I, is correct? I'm going to uh, tap on the tap key, T-A-B. And you kind of see there's a white line coming out and then I choose these edges. So if I move my mouse, it will follow the edges that we have because I hit the tab key and I'm going to continue past it so now this line is actually is an extension of the very H line then I'm going to move my point and holding the shift and you see INT intersection is on so that will be a point for our culet now let's go back to the perspective. So all we need to do, we no longer need this guy there. Right. And uh, I'm going to link from the endpoint to my point at the culet, endpoint to the culet again. And next, we just need to create a surface again, the surface from two, three, four edges. So edge one, two, three, and four. So now we have this facet there. All we need to do is we're going to pick up all nine faces, facets, here, 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 and one more. Uh, not you. This one. Okay. And then we're going to go to the top view. Then we're going to do the polar array. Hit on the zero. The number of item mixture is eight. 360 degree. Here we go. We have the facet. Only thing is missing now is the girdle. Okay, so I'm going to draw a curve. I always say curve because they call they are curved, whether they are straight or the actually curved curve. So I'm going to link. Uh, let me look at a perspective view. You can link from anywhere. You just need to make sure that they are in line okay so I'm gonna pick up here so create this little profile there okay um, since I break down all the curve on the girdle so I'm just gonna go ahead and select them and then uh, I'm going to join them okay so we're gonna do sweep 2 so this is your rail 1 first curve this is your rail rail 2 is right there and this line we just draw will be your uh, cross section so now we have our stone all we need to do is join it together all right so now we have our round stone there and to make it into the oval whoops now you have a oval stone that's easy once you've done the first one the second one is easier all right, so this is our uh, stone demonstration. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you soon in my other video.